Hello beautiful people. You are welcome to Precious Flesh TV. If you are seeing this channel for the very first time, please do your best to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified whenever I upload a video. For my returning subscribers, you know I ask you guys so much. Thank you so much for your love and your support. I really appreciate it. It's another beautiful day. We thank God for the gift of life because without God, we are nothing. That's why whenever we wake up, we have to say thank you. Thank you God for another day because it's by His grace that we slept and woke up. So my people, I have something to share with you guys because it has been bothering me this morning. I went to work. I was still thinking about it because I don't even know how to start. It's very, very annoying. It's very, very annoying because the way some people behave in Africa, the way some people, some family behave in Africa is not nice at all. It's not nice. Sometimes it makes me to think that uh, their family means nothing to them. It makes me to think that they don't think about life. They don't care about anybody's life. My people, my loved ones, my friends over there, something came up this morning. This life, eh? Enjoy yourself when you can. Because when you are no more, many people don't care about you. They don't. I want, I, I, an old friend of mine called me this morning. I was in my sleeping room. I was in my bedroom dressing up to go to work an old friend of mine who lives in abuja she called me she was crying on the phone i felt really bad i was i was like what is going on again because her husband died three weeks ago yes her husband passed away Three weeks ago, they have four kids together. Four kids, four kids together. Yes, two boys and two girls. They did traditional marriage. They did registry, and they did white. They are both legally married. The man is so young and is very hardworking. They were a very good friend of mine when I was in Africa. They live in Abuja. Unfortunately for the man, he had an accident three weeks ago and he couldn't make it. He died at the spot. But the issue now is that someone who died three weeks ago, the family was so in a hurry to bury him. They did. And since last week, they have been calling this lady to bring all the man belongings, to bring all the documents, all the houses document, the cars. This is someone that died three weeks ago. Someone who is married and they have kids together. Four lovely kids together. What even baffled me most is the mother of the man. Like seriously? You as a mother who lost a son. One year. 
You should be unable to recover from that shock. Yes. You should be you should still be mourning by now. You have the ghost to pick up your phone and call the wife of your late son to bring all this property to Bini. To bring all the property to Bini. To bring his, 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 the document that of, of all his houses. The document of his cars. You don't even care to ask of your grandchildren. You don't even know, care to know how the wife is fairy. How she's, will be, how she's able to cope. How she will be... Like, seriously. Some mothers, eh? Some mothers... Some mothers, some mothers in Africa, some mothers as a family, and you the brothers, you the brothers and the sisters, where were you when this man was working? Are you not lazy? I call people like you lazy acts. Yes. I call people like you lazy acts. This man was working so hard for his money. He was working together with his wife and they were buying properties together. As a couple, they are legally married for crying out loud. This man just died three weeks ago and you dare pick up your phone to call his wife to start bringing all the belongings, all his belongings to you? Who are you to give such an order? I expected you people find a solution on how to take care of the case he left behind. You people should be more concerned of the four kids he left behind. You should be more concerned of his wife. Poor young widow. She is too young and pretty to be a widow. Unfortunately, she is. You should be more concerned about her. You should be more concerned about the kids. Who will take care of them? Who will send them to school? Who will send them to university? All you could do is asking of his property. Really? Is this no wickedness? My people are there. Please. Whenever you come across this video, if you watch this video, please take your time to watch this video and leave your comments on the comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about some African mothers, about some African brothers and sisters, the way they treat their brother, their sister, the way they behave, the way they behave when it comes to property. On my opinion, it makes me feel like I think they don't they don't value they don't value us, especially those of us who live abroad. Because similar thing happened last year. Yes, similar thing happened last year in Spain. A brother died, and all his all his family could take off his his property. Sometimes it feels like those of us who live abroad we don't mean anything to them. It's like they use us as a money resource. Yes. Because they don't see us always, they, they don't even know anything about us anymore. All they need us for, most, not every family, not every family. Because there are a lot of good family out there, a lot, a lot. I can also use my family as, a, as, an, as, an, as an example. We still have good family, so don't, don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me, please. We still have some good family. So please don't misunderstand me, okay? Don't misunderstand me. We still have some good family. But some family, the way they behave, the way they behave is very annoying. If you know what is going on out there, you will understand what I'm saying. So don't misunderstand me. It's not every family. Some family, they feel like we are nothing to them. All they need us for is money, 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 money. Imagine someone who died three weeks ago. 
all they could think of is property. This lady was so annoyed. At the same time, she was afraid because they were threatening her. They were threatening her on the phone that she should bring the property. <coughs> That if she didn't bring the property, she, this will happen to her, this will happen to her, they will come and meet her. A lot of threats. Hello? Do you know what I told her? I said, listen, this man is your husband. You both are legally married. Yes. You both are legally married and you have four good kids, lovely kids together. You both work together and buy, achieve whatever you you guys have today don't give them a dime don't give them one cover don't give them one 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 single pin pin like this don't give to them if they come to your house with problem make sure you invite the police yes yes that is my opinion i don't know what you think out there if whatever you think please leave your comments on the comment section tell me what you think about it for me she should not give them anything no she should she should not give them anything and if they come with problem fighting her because kids are there with her if they come to abuja trying to fight her trying to give her problem she should invite the police she should invite the police let them take the case to court because they are married they should be thinking of their labor. They should be mourning their brother. They should be the woman should be mourning her son, not coming to drag property. Someone who has come to take off it. Someone who I don't understand this African people. Person when your brother away born, you want to rent property. Your brother away your get four children. He has four kids and a wife. You want to inherit his property? Who does that? I beg my people. Why that kind of thing they happen? Where did they happen? So family now, wow, this thing is just pissing me off like this, eh? It's just pissing me off. You see, you make me the para. I have the para. What? This time where this man, they work. We are on a day. Can't you go and work for yourself? You are just a lazy ass. You are just too lazy. Not be mad like you. You will be the brother. Where come they call? If not black party, yeah, that will just not continue. Like, seriously? I dare you. Who gave you the other or that city to threaten someone? Who gave you that audacity to threaten somebody? Really? They carry from the, the top. If you not, if you not bring that property, eh? if you not bring that, that, you go run past that Abuja. Like seriously, what is wrong with you? Not be mad, you be. You not go walk. You not go go walk. Not be mad, you be. They use they tie your hand. They tie her like this. With, come, they, in fact, uncuff they your hand because you be thief. I wear rubber. What kind of thing is that? A poor widow just lost her house material weeks ago. I'm not threatening her for phone. Make a brief party call. I'm not even that. I want to take care of the children where the man live behind. Some, some, some African people, eh? Some Nigerian people. Some African people. If I, oh, no, is this thing happening all over the world? Not only, not only in Nigeria. Not only in Nigeria. They happen everywhere. The way some African people they behave is not good at all. It's not good. You see that? That's just to make me the vet. What is that? Please, go and work for yourself, okay? My people, thank you so much. Uh, it's, it didn't just to vest me. So, I know you have to owe myself. It's just a power. It will make me the para. So, whatever you think about this video, please leave your comments uh, on the comment section. Please. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinion about this video. Thank you so much for coming. I remember your one and only lady, Lady Flesh. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.